What is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video I am going to do the 17k Q&A which I asked about on my Facebook on my Instagram whether you want to promote your channel or not basically I just got a thought that every other Q&A is just basically getting same something for you guys who are just like smaller channels 100 plus subscribers so I asked you guys just make a video question like any other uh, YouTuber and sorry for the echo in this bedroom actually if you ask me why this video is so delayed I recorded this video I was about to edit it last night I found out that it was completely blurry it was out of focus yeah and we are just only 40 subscribers away to 18,000 so yeah I also wanted to address one more thing about every other video I get the same question why don't you make videos in Hindi for example let's just take my last upload which is like four days ago I uploaded a video of Redmi Note 3 my UI 9 and the only major comments which I got on that video was you are fooling everyone just fuck off just die this is not a redmi note 3 like literally i am just feeling ashamed that i made that simple little quick edit where i made a fun that i have a redmi note 4 at the first in hand then i just showed like a little magic trick that it was actually a redmi note 3 but everyone was just telling me it is redmi note 4 like some of them guys told me that it's actually me max it's not redmi note 3 now pause that video in like middle i have redmi note 3 and the redmi note 4 in hand people are digging into the video like so much they know the rom is from me max but they don't have simple idea that Mi Max is 6 inch device and when you compare it to a Redmi Note 4 it's just not the same size but everyone is smart enough to give me bad words in Hindi that's why I don't make videos in Hindi like who am I making videos for in Hindi for these people who are illiterate don't know anything about modding don't know how to reply or anything ask like most of you guys which are my loyal subscribers you ask me whether I could do it genuinely in English or any kind of language I don't mind that but some of these people who don't understand anything about modding just give me bad words in Hindi and that's why I don't like to make videos in Hindi like literally who am I making videos for then again most of you guys who are my subscribers who know about modding and who really appreciate my work you guys know English you are like educated people yeah right many of my subscribers were just fighting to those idiot guys so I literally deleted like almost four to five comments from that video because later it was just getting repetitive about that madness so yeah let's just continue to this q &A now I asked about this on Thursday so yeah it's kind of late but I actually handpicked five of these questions now one of those questions are actually comment that guy actually didn't get time to record a video so yeah I thought it was genuine and I really appreciate that also I'm feeling a bit sleepy I picked up four video questions from all of the submissions cause the remaining ones yeah let's just not talk about that let's just leave it aside hello guys my name is Ashwin and I'm from Ashwin's tech and you're watching Devang Roka right now so my question to Devang is how to port the MTK ROMs to SDK devices so Ashwin I know you you have been like following me since I had like 4000 subscribers I really appreciate the work you do too I really like your setup it's very bright and colorful with those RGB LEDs now I didn't actually get your questions how to port the MTK ROMs to SDK MTK stands for MediaTek and SDK is actually software development kit now if you're asking MTK to SD which is Snapdragon it's not actually possible because once you build a ROM from a source it's actually optimized for that specific hardware that's why you can't actually port a Snapdragon and ROM to Exynos, Exynos ROM to uh, Snapdragon but if you want the experience of that thing you can just uh, grab any other ROM such as for example Sony or HTC which actually the apps just work on anything cause they follow a simple rule they don't have any kind of external framework like Samsung you can just install the apps such as Sony's Walkman album or video app on any kind of Android device the device just needs to be on Android and you can just install it you can have that experience but there is no way you can literally port ROMs from one SOC to another if I find anything I will leave a link in the description but let's just continue with the second one hey so my question for you Devang is that what do you think about the future of smartphone companies like Lava, Intex, Carbon should be if companies like uh, Xiaomi produce better smartphones in a better budget range with better specs so that's my question and my youtube channel is called Texagon it's T-E-X-A-G-O-N and I produce tech videos on my channel so I hope to see you on my channel bye Yo, first of all, let's just appreciate this guy that someone likes Xiaomi devices. Like, literally, it's not me. Xiaomi does make good phones. Now, first of all, your channel name is great. Like, Texagon, I can't even, like, come up with my name. I just changed my last name and kept my first name. I really like the way you do your cinematics and stuff. Also, you included the one headphone shot. If you ask me about those uh, remaining companies such as Carbon, Lava, Intex, Carbon literally lost everything. Lava, they also lost. Now, Jioni and Leeko are still struggling, but really, it just comes 
constructed to the point that you literally need innovation. Micromax just lost everything like after the Canvas 5 and the Canvas 6, they were not successful as the Canvas 4 and after Micromax came up with this Canvas Infinity, kind of they still this Infinity display and just named their whole phone, but still it's kind of a bit new into that price point. Like at 10,000 rupees, no one is offering like 18 by 9 aspect ratio. At next, you have like a 16,000 rupee LG Q6. I hope I have answered your question. <laughs> These companies don't have any kind of future in their hand, at least and until they come up with anything copied such as the all new infinity screens, the dual cameras or anything like that. Hey Devang, I'm a huge fan of your channel and you are my inspiration. I'm a fellow YouTuber as well. I just wanted to ask you two questions. Where do you get all of your ideas? Because you have some great ideas and they are really interesting. And the second question was that uh, where do you get all of your review unit phones? And those are just great. You make uh, great videos and I just want you to converse a little bit more because you never reply to my messages wherever I do them. So I think that's it. Thank you. We're gonna do the boot up time test. So let's do that. Three, two, one. Box and you have the Redmi 4A over here, and it is a great. That is the first step. Then what you have to do this, and as you can see, you have the Volt E logo, and this is just amazing, and it worked. Come on down to Tech Love by Chetanan Snoria for more videos like this, and you will see all of these video in the videos over there, and there are many fixes and many reviews to come out soon. Like first of all, dude, that was like one of the most sweetest things that I've ever heard. Now, if you talk about ideas. I just spent all of my day on XDA and I have like a five years of experience with this Android modding and stuff. I have been doing these things since I was like 12 years old. So yeah, I have pretty much experience cause I used to make Android ROMs, but it's extremely hard when you are just keep on updating on yourself. I used to do with my studies, but with the YouTube, it's just hard as I have a very good audience who would just kill me if I don't update the bugs and stuff. If you talk about ideas, uh, due to this experience, I know how to dig into the Android systems if anything comes new. If you talk about the review units, I guess I have explained it pretty clear in my Sunday's vlog which I just uploaded yesterday. You can check it over here or over here, I don't know. I have one guy who actually trusts me on his Android devices and he just lends me. He told me just make an ad about his store and he could just give me device for one day which actually works for me and I bring those reviews for you guys. Now if you tell about the replying to the messages, guys, I don't use Facebook Messenger, I don't use Facebook at all. I hardly even uh, use WhatsApp. You guys keep on asking me what's your WhatsApp number guys i can't give that whatsapp number to guys it's something that's personal like you guys couldn't understand i can't just share my personal number with everyone i am a real person i can't really reply to like 700 guys at a time if you have any kind of problem please let me know in the comment section below if the video is new there are 100 percent chances that i will reply to you but if the video is older just leave it in comments if anyone is there who is reading your comment and he has resolved that issue he or she will help you so what's up devang rockers so my question to you devang is uh, why don't you start daily vlogging? Also, uh, when we will get to see your merchandise? And the main thing, bro, say this. Fuck what people think, bro. First of all, dude, you have the dopest hat in the world. But still, if you ask about daily vlogging, dude, I barely get ideas for like weekly vlogs. Sometimes I just show you guys one trick and just that's title and thumbnail. Otherwise, it's just the background thing is which I do and I do want to share. Just doesn't deserve a whole video. That's basically my vlogs. If I give an example such as Mumbai Karnekel, your Indian consumer, they like share 80% of their lives in their vlogs. They include their families and stuff. I'm just not comfortable with it uh, just right now. I hope you guys could understand my privacy, but still, they vlogging not at all i barely even like sleep four to five hours sometimes i don't even upload videos sometimes the videos are only two to three four minutes but in order to make that three to four minutes whole day for searching topics because literally after searching topics i have to see whether that thing is compatible or not whether it works what are the points digging through a whole room what are the features what are not working and even after those sleepless nights i just get tons and tons of dislike if you talk about merchandise the only two youtubers have merchandise i guess which is bb 
most subscribed channel in India and you are Indian consumer now making merchandise in India there is uh, nothing like official way to do it such as in US you have fanjoy.com fan fiber in India there is nothing I guess there are some companies but they like take 60% of your share if I make anything I just don't want to price like more than like thousand rupees personally if you see this I bought this for 300 rupees personally I don't even buy clothes above like 800 rupees I only have one sweatshirt which is like 800 rupees all other these clothes that you guys see it's only three to four hundred rupees now if I don't wear anything expensive why would you guys buy like that now whenever I would make my own merchandise it will be just top. I have straight A's in intermediate and elementary so yeah just trust me it will not be anything such as Jake Paul like a huge JP over here or such as your Indian consumer like hashtag UIC vlogs it would not have like any kind of my signature it would be straight art and then let's just get to the last question which is actually a comment I have college for that I have not enough time please sorry for that I think that's genuine and I totally respect it congrats for 17k we are at 18 <laughs> my question did you ever try to go back to college after getting famous on YouTube famous 6 million views 18,000 subscribers I don't think I'm famous yeah. my YouTube channel name is Rashad Shahaji no actually guys the whole story is I was in the college I didn't have like any enough grades that I could take computer science there are no good colleges in this whole town the college which I wanted to take was not allowing me as I had some rivalry with those teachers yep I was a very cool kid in school yep I got admission in another college which was one of the biggest college in uh, this whole city it has canteen one of the best laboratories but in terms of study it was the shittiest college it is actually attached to the beach uh, most of you guys know what I'm talking about and no one actually cared about studies everyone just roam around the teachers wouldn't give a damn about what students are doing everyone was on their phones and if you say you could just go to a tuition now in my whole life I never went to tuition I have studied from my home from like junior kg to my 10th standard I never went to tuition I had like a social anxiety so yeah I just told my mom that was not actually working for me because I didn't get computer science in it from I guess like 5,000 students only 7 students opted for computer science and everyone went for IT or the science the only choice for me was IT biology was going over my head so I just ended up leaving that college because most of my life I just get bullied in my school I didn't beat anyone also my English was extremely bad I was extremely scared I had like a very bad fumbling issues in English it was like shifting gears like uh, my name is Devang um, today I am going to speak about elephants like it was that bad it was like not polished or not fast like this and I just ended up leaving college in total and pursue my thinking in YouTube now YouTube is here most of you guys say that YouTube is not for us like literally we all watch TV YouTube is just like TV like if YouTube goes there are more platforms over here or any other platform will arrive because it's the next upcoming thing no one watches TV I barely even watch TV in my home only my grandparents watch TV my mom watches YouTube I watch YouTube this is the next big thing and YouTube actually is a monetized platform such as the TV actors we actually get paid whether I just lost lakh rupees because literally the adsense is messed up but still we are getting paid so yeah youtube is over here but at to an extent how much it will work even personally i don't know so yeah guys i guess that concludes this 17k q and i hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for all other submissions i really appreciate the love of you guys and just keep on supporting thanks for watching see you in the next one peace